guys, look at you here and oh, is the viral brie cheese pasta worth the hype? Now this pasta is actually viral in Korea right now. Why, you may ask? Ew. A very famous Korean singer, Song Shikung, showed the world this pasta recipe and people are going crazy over it because <laughs> it requires basically a whole wheel of brie cheese. Now, I'm a fan of brie cheese, but normally I would eat it with bread, a French baguette, not with pasta. So, a very interesting combo. Not sure how it's gonna taste. Sort of nervous and sort of excited. All we need is five cloves of garlic, finely minced. Next step, <laughs> we have Will you marry me? Cherry tomatoes! Oh, look how gorgeous and voluptuous, crumptuous they look, okay? Now, he doesn't really tell us how many to use, but I counted in his video. He used 14 to be exact, okay? Oh no! Actually, we should wash these. BRB. These are called flavor bombs. Ba-boom! Ba and we're simply going to slice them in half. Oh! Sung Shi Kyung actually didn't invent this recipe, okay? Don't give yourself so much credit, Mr. K-pop star. Actually, he doesn't sing K-pop. He is the Celine Dion of Korea. This recipe that he thought he made up is actually a twist on the traditional pasta alla keke. Yes, I am part Italian in my heart. And pasta alla keke is a Roman dish. Oh, it's made with fresh tomatoes, but the cheese they use is actually fresh mozzarella, okay? But we are going to be using, as per Mr. Sung Si Kyung's request, French brie. Oh. I know, I know. Please, Italians, forgive me for this faux pas. The pas faux. The po po fa. Next up, we need. Basil, okay, this is 28 grams, one container. Fairly expensive, $1.97 for this bundle of joy. So it's worth it. Hmm, we got a nice bouquet. We're gonna give it a nice wash. Give it a nice powderu, me and you. I'm just gonna remove the leaves off the stem, roughly chop it. Our pot is slightly boiled. We will add some salt around a tablespoon. Oh, what is this? Linguini. Not to be confused with linguine elbow. Lingui elbow. He doesn't say how much linguini to use. You can also use spaghetti, but it looks like he cooks around two servings of pasta which is around 100 grams in my country. The land of mooses. Look at this hack. All right, we're gonna let this boil for nine minutes or so. <laughs> what is this? Hello? This is brie cheese, okay? Our finest. Pretty sure this is the Walmart generic brand. Triple cream, okay. Triple dipple. 550 grams. Oh! Yes, I got this from Walmart, do not judge me. I was planning to go to Costco, you know, because Costco has a huge container full of brie, but 
I do not want to put myself through the stress of Costco, you know? Everyone, all the moms and pops are just like, honey, we need Havarti. So we're gonna cut it in half. Now triple cream means that the cream is tripled. There's more fat, which means it's much softer. You know, some brie's are ooey gooey. This is one of them. Now he uses a small wheel of brie, and a small wheel is like 200 grams. So around a third of this brie cheese wheel. Should I eat it? Mm. We're just going to chunk it up, chunky monkey, into mini bite-sized pieces, all right? So it's in like a little sugar cube size. Master Chef Miku, how is it looking? Do a little sniffy. Let's get this video to 200 likes. Sniffy. So you can give Miku a juicy piece of chicken at the end of next video. <laughs> now all we gotta do is grab our bowl of roux. Just toss it in. Ba-bam. We gotta add one, two, three. And then he adds two more seconds. One, two of olive oil. So a total of five seconds of olive oil, as well as a pinch of salt and some black pepper. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. He does fifteen cracks. Okay, all we gotta do now is transfer this pasta directly into the bowl, okay? The pasta doesn't need, it doesn't need to be drained. I don't know why I'm holding that. Just for looks, okay? Directly into the bowl. Stir it up. Oh! And the heat from the pasta will hopefully, as Sung Shi Kyung says, will melt it. The brie is not melting yet. Sung Shi Kyung. Oh, the, this is making my, my wrist hurt. Oh, it's starting to melt a little. You see the little creaminess? I'm gonna add some pasta water. He did not do this, but it'll loosen up a bit. You know, like when you see a chef, they add pasta water, you're like, mmm, that water. I've been mixing this for like 10 minutes now. Okay, we're gonna put the noodles in the middle. Oh, like so. All right, look at that. Oh, now let's head to the taste test. All right, so this is the finished product. And I'm super excited. Ooh, all right. Oh, all right, cheers. First bites for you, mm, nom nom nom. Why am I blowing? It's not even that hot. <laughs> when you first take a bite, you get hit with that brie flavor. You either love it or hate it. It's exactly what you would think brie pasta would taste like. <laughs> it's like a little earthy, mushroomy flavor. Okay, let's try pasta with the tomatoes. The tomatoes definitely cut the richness right in half. They got a nice pop of juice from the tomato. Oh, look at this bite. Oh, look at that bite. And the basil really comes through as well. Gives a nice fragrant floral taste to it. You know, brie has that really custardy, velvety texture. If you're a fan of garlic, you would like this pasta. Look at this chunk of brie right there. Let's give that a bite. Compared to Alfredo sauce, this brie cheese is very strong. The only thing is I wish that the pasta was warmer and is this viral brie cheese pasta worth the hype mm. yes but only if you like brie okay i think this is a very acquired taste but i don't think i would make this again okay this is quite rich dense and heavy but i do think this is a very convenient creamy pasta and i'll see you guys next time Miku gets bell pepper. Eat. Yummy, right? And if you're still here, comment, I'm a brie head to confuse everyone. Yum.